What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you <laughs> with a late installment of my G Gundam review. This is G Gundam episode 22? 22, I think. I, I'll, I'll have to look up. To, to give me a... Uh, uh, give me a moment, uh, G Gundam episode. I'm quickly looking because I completely forgot because I am late. Listen, last Friday, yeah, it's episode 22, 21. No, this is episode 22. Yes. L last Friday, stuff happened. I was tired. I was exhausted. My day job has been working me like crazy and well I, I i needed some time off i needed a few days just to stream play some games but i'm back i'm back with episode 22 because i had to google it real quick i downloaded this episode earlier give me a break break i love this Th this is possibly my possibly possibly my favorite arc in all of G Gundam coming down from the Yana Highlands. I said this last week or last episode. I'll say it again now. Like these episodes give me goosebumps and they just keep ramping up constantly one after another, after another, they get more and more intense, I should say. And, and let's get into this. So we opened up kind of where we left off last week with Domon and Master finger locked. God, that is a weird thing to say, but yes, they are finger locked. Locked in the heat of a combat. Everybody's shocked at what's happening. Master still, you know, being Master saying, hey, you, you're not strong enough yet. You think you can take me on? Laughter ensues, and then the explosion. Simple enough. That is where we left off. We are now continuing the story as we will for the next, let's see, we did this week. Well, last week was 21, 22, 23, and 24. We're going to just immediately, the next episode picks up right after that. It's not like maybe, hey, a day pass or a few days pass. No, it is immediately after that. And this is one giant night. Uh, uh, may, uh, not night, three days or so of conflict. We get the, our, our announcer telling us, Hey, things are changing. Stuff's going to happen. They got to hurry on over to Hong Kong. Let's get things started. Going to fight. Ready? Go. So cut back to the explosion and master is still up as Domon falls to earth after losing Gundam's badly damaged. Uh, Master is taking notes that, hey, he's superior. We have back over here, and I've been saying her name wrong this whole time. It's not Natasha. It's Nashash Nashashta. Nashta. It starts with an N. I'm going to keep calling her Nashta, but we do get her name pronounced for the first time this time. And she is taking note that, hey, we, we are completely surrounded. What's going on? We have combat heads everywhere. Stuff's bad. We cut back over to Domon on the ground, badly damaged. Gundam cockpit damaged to an extreme degree. Master raises up and saying, Hey, we have you surrounded. You're already beat. How are you going to get out of this one? Master basically getting ready to destroy them all. In the brink of time, flashbang happens. It's Shadow Gundam here to save the day to get them all to safety. Master says, hey, doesn't matter. You can't escape. It's only a matter of time before I win. Master has basically locked them down. And we cut over here to Nash Nashta, Nasasha, something like that. Russian lady. She is actually giving him a breakdown of, hey, we are completely effing surrounded. We are in deep shit. She is saying this to every member of the Shuffle Alliance. They have no way to get out and everything like that. They've taken data from the Gundam heads and they have acknowledged that they, they flew a unmanned flying drone of some sort 
to see like what what are their capabilities and the moment they get near one uh, up to a certain level the uh the eyes completely destroy it they have sensors all over here you cannot get above there the only trick is going to have to be to find a way to get around them to completely escape downside they only have room for one gundam bolt gundam all the other gundams are going to have to be left behind you you cannot in order to escape we're gonna have to leave everybody else behind and you're gonna have to basically drop out of the tournament it, it's a sad thing to say with that being said though chip it, Sai Saishi chips in and saying well that's all good and everything the problem is bolt gundam can get quickly repaired Sh burning shining this is shining gundam shining gundam is going to take a whole lot longer to basically repair itself like we have no way to fix this we're gonna have to put all of our efforts just to get him back up to speed and Domon takes note like hey we'll figure it out don't worry just then rain comes in kind of hazard and saying she'll work on the gundam everybody's taking note because she should be resting she got into a big fight she she's you know she's injured she should be resting and rain's all like no i i, I got this don't worry Domon chips up saying we have no choice we just need to escape everybody abandon ship it's time to leave chippy trips up saying don't worry dude we we got this you know we can help out we can defend this place for a while while you guys get up to speed a and with that being said he you know he gets all blushed and saying no i'm not doing this for you now i'm doing this thinking of the lady making sure she's safe and everything we'll, we'll defend this place and that is the plan that they're all going to defend it without a shadow of doubt because domon Domon's been there for them. This episode and the episode prior are the Shuffle Alliance finally giving back to Domon, I would say. And I'm having goosebumps just thinking about it. It, it, it is the Shuffle Alliance taking note that, hey, you're in need. You are down for the count right now. It's our turn to step up and to protect you, to give you what you need. And everybody's in agreement that they're going to defend the place. So we get the map out. Let me remember. Because I'm trying to remember all the positions. I don't have a compass. Uh, north, south. No. North, east, south, west. So southwest. I can remember this one off the top of my head. Argo will be positioning there. We go into the north. This would be the northeast or where Dragon Gundam and Shadow Gundam will be preparing. They are allowed to use the mines from Neo Russia. Down south, down to the east, we'll have Rose Gundam and Maxter Gundam all preparing, getting all set up and everything. Then down, they're taking note, hey, we, we got all these mines. Ru Argo will be defending all by himself as time moves on. Shadow Gundam. Are, are, oh god, I, I love him. I love him to death. Second favorite character, only after Master Asia. Schwartz Bruder says, Okay, now that we're getting everything set up, allow me to position one final thing this special mine. And yeah, they, they're all in agreement. What is that? It's a flashbang kind of mine, it's a, it's a special mine that he will be positioning in a certain area to further his agenda. He goes off to go do that because it's going to, he's also said, hey, it's going to allow them for their escape. Just trust him. We now cut over to Rain working on the Gundam, making sure the arm's working right. She's getting all like, you know, talky saying, hey, it's nice that everybody's coming together. Domon's not really paying attention, that much attention. You know, Rain's picking on him a bit, but then she almost falls off. Domon rushes to save her and notices, hey, you're you're sick. You're running a fever. What? Why are you doing this? And Rain's like, I, I'm doing this because of you. I'm doing this because of us, because this is my job. And Domon, you know, acting all Domon, getting all flustered. And, you know, he cares for Rain. He really does. Like, Rain is his best friend, somebody he 
deeply loves and he feels sorry. He, well, not sorry. He feels sorrowful. He doesn't like seeing her like this. But he makes a deal with Rain that he, he's going to allow her to keep helping him fix up the Shining Gundam. Best of her ability. Then afterwards, don't, she wants to travel with Domon everywhere they go. Please don't let him leave me behind. I, I always want to be there by your side. And Domon accepts that. Remember that. Domon accepts that. And he cares for Rain deeply. So they go working on, they start working on the Gundam. Master then begins looking up above, noticing hey, they're just trapped down there. Nothing they can do can prepare themselves and begins, basically begins the attack. We have Nastasha, I think is her name. I've said Natasha. I've named, I said Nashasha. I think it's Nastasha now that I'm thinking about it. She's checking in with everybody. All areas are clear. Nobody's really attacked yet. Say everybody's checking in. Argo takes a look. He's looking intensely out at the battlefield, sees nothing. And just then, as he's about to report in saying nothing there, he gets shot. Not a bad shot. He's still perfectly fine. As the attack begins, everybody's like, they're here and we need to rush over there. And Argo says, no, don't. This is a trick that I used to do as a pirate. This is just a small force to try to diverge us. We need to stay positioned. The main forces are going to be here soon. And just then, more of the forces start attacking from every direction. With everybody prepared to fight, Rose and Maxer begin getting attacked, letting out attacks. We check in on Schwartz Bruder, who is now ways away from the battle, but is looking over at a waterfall of some sort. And he's like... Time's about here. It is about time for us to, you know, do my plan. Time keeps moving on. Explosions happen. Domon takes note. Hey, the, everything's getting more and more intense out there. We need to hurry up. And he checks in and he sees Rain laying down. Domon rushes over, takes note that she's super injured. They have to hurry up and work on it. And Domon takes her hand and says, hey, I'll help you out. We'll do this together, just like the time when we did this with uh, Battle Master Asia and our power were as basically at max. We're going to do this again. We're going to work on this together. And we're going to be at each other's side throughout all this. Get Nastasha taking note of all the battle. Chip Saisaishi checks in saying, hey, because there's nobody over here, do you want me to go help out the other side? And just then, he notes that he talked too soon. Attacks just keep coming from all directions. Master saying it's time for us to basically destroy everything, go full force. Armies coming up from every direction, land, sea, air, all over. They're becoming surrounded. Nastasha's being concerned. Master's ready to take full force. And just then, I, I get this moment, this character development out of nowhere. That I'm thinking of this whole episode. I know the song that's coming up. I can't play it on on the video, but I know it. And just thinking about it is giving me goosebumps. A random Russian employee starts saying, "Hey, let's just ditch everybody and leave. Let's ditch everybody and leave. Cut our losses, and say we're out. This will give us an advantage in the final rounds. Nobody would have to worry." And hearing that. Nastasha chews him out, saying you are a disgrace to near Russia. You are a disgrace to all of us. This is not just our time. This is, th this is not just us right now. This is us fighting for our lives and leaving everybody else behind is a disgrace to our nation. It is a disgrace to everybody else's nation and for everybody out there right now that is fighting the good fight. I, oh God, it comes out of nowhere because we've been watching Nastasha this whole time. She's kind of, she's very uh, set in her ways, let's say. She cares only about Neo-Russia. She cares only about winning. And in this moment, out of nowhere, she starts berating somebody who would, before, she'd probably agree with. But she doesn't right now because she knows what's at stake. 
with that being said, she commands everybody to fight to the last man, fight to the very end. And we get this awesome song that's just amazing watching as the Gundams begin, well, the Dark Army begins just keep moving in as they blow up one after another, but they're just not stopping and everybody's taking note of it. You get a Maxter saving Rose and says, hey, hey there, pretty boy, I saved your butt. Rose chiping in saying, I would prefer you not call me that as he saves Maxter. And they have this bitter banter back and forth because uh, uh, George finds it funny. Finds it funny that they're still here because they should be on their way to Hong Kong right now. But for some reason, they have to protect that man. And everybody kind of like agrees like, hey, we're, we really shouldn't be doing this right now. We should be going off to the final rounds because we're all going to win. Chippity, uh, Sai Sai, she chimes in saying, yeah, you're right, we should, but this, we're doing this to be friends and everything, and I'm going to be the one that beats bro in the final rounds. Get Rose chime in, nope, it's going to be me. Argo chimes in saying, it doesn't matter who will be the one that beats him in the final round, all that matters is getting through this and getting there as he picks up one of the water units and just crushes it with his bare hands, and together they're they're not actually back to back, even in the positioning, but spiritually they are. They're taking note that no, they're doing this so they can all get to the final rounds in Neo Hong Kong and win it for their nation. Now, with Master Asia seeing them fighting back as hard as they can, pushing all their strength, he still thinks, hey, we got this in the bag. It's about time I make my way to the final rounds. We see everybody in these final moments just fighting off all the units as best as they can. Oh, it's so good. And then we cut to we cut to Tomon and Rain putting the final touches in on the Shining Gundam as the battle's breaking out around them. Fires everywhere. Rain then we get the, get this scene where Rain basically collapses cuz she's exhausted. Domon chimes in saying, "Hey, we're all beat up. We're, we're finally finished." Nastasha shocked that they've finished so soon domon holding rain close to him saying it's time for me to get into the battle just then schwartz bruder makes himself known saying nope can't do it now it's too it'll be too haphazard and dangerous for you to hop in now your job now is to get out get everybody set we're about to escape just listen to me please and, and He's harping on everybody. Nastasha's like, no, we need him to get in there. Please listen to me. Ch Sai Sai, she chimes in saying, what's with this guy? He disappears. Now he's back. Argo's like, doesn't matter. Let's just listen to him because we're, we're about to get overrun. We have all these dark army soldiers just constantly coming after us. Nastasha says, okay, everybody prepare to evacuate full power. Bolt Gundam gets on. Shining Gundam gets out. We see this. Wonderful shot of Shining Gundam, you know, stepping out. Domon takes note of the ship and he sees Rain in the medical bay. Sees her passed out and you, you take a note of this. You go back to what Domon said. Hey, we're going to be with each other no matter what. I'm, I'm making this promise to you. But this is a hard decision for Domon. He made that promise. He plans to keep that promise too. Don't worry. He just wants to get out of here. He wants to make sure she's safe. She's too sick for him to take on his own right now. So he has to put her in the med bay. She, he, she has, he has no choice. Uh, Domon says, please take care of her and make sure she gets over there. Just then, Master Asia comes down. Atop a head unit. Army all surrounding him. Saying, ah, oh, you guys are trying to escape now, but there's no choice. There's no chance. I'm here to finish the job. Just then, Master Asia's taking a look, notices there's one final mine. Master Asia says, oh, mines, they're not going to stop me. He fires upon it. That mine, though, was the signal flare mine. And with it being fired, the blast goes into the air, signaling Schwartz Bruder to commence his plan. And with that, he goes into the special move where he's spinning around, jumps into the waterfall, cuts it all apart, and causes a massive flood to go washing across the battlefield, pushing everybody aside, getting them all washed away, 
saving the Shuffle Alliance and crew. With that over, everybody's like taking note. Hey, uh, the plan actually worked. We're going to get out of here. And yeah, Russia begins to leave. Everybody's saying, hey, we'll meet each other at the final round. We'll take care of everything. See you guys there. Off to the finals. And as everything's coming to an end, Domo knows something isn't right. He knows something's not right. Takes a look. Out of the water. Bursts up Master Asia. Domo and Asia locked ha locks eye and eye. And at Master Asia says, you don't think it was going to be that easy. Take a look what we still have to deal with. And just then lightning comes striking down or come from above, maybe from the ground. And from the ground arises dark Gundam. Everybody, Domon's shocked at seeing it. And that is where we end with the acknowledgement that not only is Master Asia here, not only was the Dark Army here, but now Domon is going to have to face Kyoji and the Dark Gundam and yet another fight. Just after the whole Shinjuku arc, just after all that, after training for so long, he is already reconfronted with the Dark Gundam. And trust me, the next episode just keeps ramping it up. And it concludes in two episodes. I think at the next episode's real. I love these episodes. I love these episodes with all the heart of my world. And it's hard to figure out which is the best episode. This episode has a fantastic track. I highly suggest people go watch these four episodes. This episode has this moment that this music that's just beautiful and inspiring in its weird way that you don't even understand the words because they don't have subtitles to it. Even on the dub where they add subtitles in the DVD, they don't have subtitles for the song. So it, when you hear it, it just makes you feel inspired. It, it, it just keeps ramping up from here, guys. But let me get your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out with your friends, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And if you want, you can go to the playlist that I will have linked at the end to check it all out. All but episode one is on that playlist. Episode one is actually over on my Rumble page because YouTube didn't like it that much. But check them out. I'll see you guys all in the next one. And bye for now.